White Township and in, in a high school athletics and it, it just it doesn't slow down, does it, Chris? No, no, we have a lot of good things going on. It's always it's always something and it's it's, it's good to be part of it. It's it's certainly good to be around the community. And and you know, while we're talking Indiana High baseball and everything, we should uh, salute the role that White Township played uh, in making sure the field was ready to go every time it was needed this year. Yeah, they play out at the uh, the main the main stadium out at the arena and um, our crews take great pride in getting that field ready for them for the season. And they're the earliest sport that's out there playing. They're, well, you know, spring sports in, in high school levels are really early. So it's always a chore to get those fields ready. But good shape this season. They had a great season. And, man, let's, 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 uh, let's bring home one on Thursday. Well, they're, they're working out in, in the, inside the building in the, in the middle of winter, oh, too. Yeah. They're playing baseball. Yep, yep. There's always, there's always, uh, there's always space available. Yeah. Speaking of inside the arena. Uh, at the White Township Recreation Complex. You've got a lot of things going on. You've got uh, things coming up this weekend, uh, later this month as well. Um, I know that we have the folks in from the Ethnic Food Festival. They're getting set to go uh, mm -hmm. for this weekend. Uh, you've got the uh, uh, the annual, well, not annual, maybe it'll be annual, I mean, the Emergency Services Expo coming up on Saturday, June 29th. White Township is putting that on. That's yeah, it's, uh, it's one of our first big, like our own events that, that we're putting on, and we thought it was a good time to showcase some of the emergency personnel, emergency uh, groups out there that, um, you know, some of these heroes put their life on the line out there and, and you know, get out of bed early in the morning to come rescue and things like that. So it's the end of the month here, June 29th, um, out at the arena. There's going to be the, your typical, your ambulance, the, the fire departments, Life Flight's going to be there, the state police. Mm -hmm. There's going to be demonstrations, there's going to be electric providers. It, it, it'll, be a good, it'll be a good time to learn about your emergency services. Um, learn how to volunteer, learn how to get involved if you want to pursue a career. Um, get the young children out there, let them see the helicopter. It, it, it'll be a nice event. Yeah, it really will. And uh, people will have an opportunity to actually become an emergency responder. Mm -hmm. There'll be certainly people recruiting there. Uh, and even a drone technology demonstration. That's all. Are you the one going to fly the drone? I am not going to fly the drone, no, but uh, I'll, I'll certainly be there to watch. Are you good at that? Um, my kids have one, but I've never had any <laughs> true experience with them. Uh, well, it's a great facility and a great opportunity for folks. Again, that's coming up on Saturday, June 29th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the White Township Recreation Complex. And, uh, and there you go, especially for kids. Mm -hmm. That's going to yep. be a really good, good time. Okay, other things going on in White Township. Apache Drive, tell me about that. Yeah, so Apache Drive, we've talked about that for a couple months. They are getting ready to break ground on that school bus project, so make residents aware that probably in the next few weeks they'll see some construction activity starting to take place out there. Um, that's a stormwater project. We're partnering with Indiana County on some of the ARPA funds. Um, mowing the right-of-ways, uh, our tractor's been out constantly. We have one round of, of all the right-of-ways mowed up. Um, seal coating roads, that we come in, they put, the, they put the seal on them. There are a couple roads here in the next few weeks. Um, we have a Bobcat Toolcat that will be out sweeping those roads, prepping them. So there's. Bit of road work, and uh, we had to pull our road crew away to do some grant work for us out at the rec complex. So uh -huh. they're doing some paving, some walking trails, some curbing, stormwater work. Mm -hmm. So they're out there for a few days, uh, you know, touching that up for, for some in kind grant money work. Uh, you got to work around things like the, the stormwater ponds, that's another area that needs attention, mm -hmm. uh, and that's a little bit tricky too. Yeah, and, and we try to get the, 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 the tops and the sides mowed. Um, just the nature of the stormwater basins, they, they're, they, they're damp, they're wet, and mm -hmm. we can't sometimes get equipment down to the bottom of them. So we ask for people's patience that we'll try to hit the, the tops and the sides, and if we can't get them, we'll be back around. Yeah, you got to sink in that stuff down in and make yeah. bigger mess than you started. Bring all the equipment in and pull it out, and it's, you got yeah. ruts. And... Um, uh, Route 286, the sewer pump project. Yeah, that one's been in the long, a long time works, and we are flipping the switch on Monday. So that, that pump station startup is Monday. So we will be getting notices out to homeowners out there and businesses that they'll be able to start tying into the, the, the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's an exciting development, isn't it? It is. It's been a couple years now. Um, it's probably been a five-year project in the works by the time of the planning and the design and the engineering, mm -hmm. um, construction, and now startup. It's exciting. Now what are the parameters for that from where to where? So it's right around the, it's, it, it ties in at the airport but it goes down towards the uh, the golf course there on Hamill Road. Okay. Um, 
It goes down to where REA is, the uh, airport business is there, mm -hmm. down through where Campbell Lane, Over Road. So it's that whole section there, 36 or 36 units or so. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's great work that they're able to get something like that done. So that's good news. Uh, the traffic signal at Ben Franklin and Warren, that's been an ongoing couple of years worth of project too. Yeah, it? so if you remember, we did phase one right uh, during COVID and, and the, the astronomical price of the Super Bowls and the superstructures went way up. So we had to cut that project back. So we did phase one, didn't have enough grant money to do phase two. So we came back in, applied for Green Lake Go, got phase two funds, um, started construction a couple months ago, um, flipped the switch on, changed everything over. And if you traveled that part of town, you knew there were some some issues. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had we had some radar detection issues when it when the first when the switch um, you know, when they first flipped everything over, and there, there, it caused some delays on Ben Franklin, delays on uh, you know Indian Springs coming coming this way. So uh, we appreciate everybody that, that had to sit through that and, and you know showed their patience. But uh, it seems to be operating functionally now. So yeah. we will have a 30 day test period. We'll monitor if there's any issues. I'm sure people reach out to us, but we're watching it pretty close. And it was kind of a kind of a headache there for a couple of days. Well, one of the things with technology such as that. Is that uh, you know when traffic starts to pile up and uh, and horns start to blare, uh, uh, it, it takes some some patient folks to realize that uh, me hitting my horn isn't going to do a darn thing to get this traffic moving again. Yeah. Uh, and 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 so we understand that that's a problem uh, when 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 those technical issues crop up. Uh, and and anytime there's a lightning strike nearby or anytime there's uh, some bit of a computer glitch uh, in. in software uh, that's going to slow things down and uh, that's the price you pay for convenience I guess mm -hmm. yeah we still see if, if, if everybody knows the rules if, if you see the, the light go on flash be extra cautious and if it's flashing red make sure you stop and proceed with caution and it, it's um it, it's it's temporary yeah you know, usually these these traffic issues are they're resolved pretty quickly so yeah. well that was the case last week Indian Springs Road yeah it took a couple of days and we worked with yeah. Pendon the contractor to get the timing and adjusted the radar detection and fixed it yeah. up and running now situation on Indian Springs uh, last week they had to uh, close the lane for temporarily is that fixed up now yeah there was uh, some uh, it was part of a spin-off of the project we did last year but it was um, an issue with a stormwater pipe and yeah. Uh, a utility line that was drilled through the, the, the stormwater line. So there, there's always little issues like that that sure. you got to address. Yeah, yeah, you got to do things like that. All right, so uh, uh, meetings coming up and uh, events and actions. Yeah, so planning commission this evening. Mm -hmm. um, the last couple months has been really busy. Uh, tonight we do have a couple small projects, a couple final minor subdivisions, um, no large projects. Um, and then we have supervisors meeting tomorrow. Uh, it is a busy busy meeting tomorrow. We have um, solar ordinance, we have a couple uh, sewer planning resolutions, um, talking about some projects going on. It's some, some yeah. Does the solar ordinance, uh, it, it seems to be something that, uh, that folks have great interest in, um, but it just seems to me. Is, is it actually, is there that much interest in solar in White Township? We do see a fair amount of building permits coming through where um, mm -hmm. some residential stuff, uh, nothing large grid scale solar arrays yet, but mm -hmm. um, we, we did see a small project on old 119 South, but we have um, mostly residential uh, taking place around, around yeah. the township. Yeah, yeah. They take, they, you know, solar's a, a fascinating idea and a, and a great concept, uh, but they do take uh, a lot of maintenance, a lot more maintenance, I think, than people realize. Yeah, we, and, and I think, um, as we went through this process and we've we've learned and we've sat through we've sat through like state organization presentations things like that now just make sure you do research and, and find out the product you're getting and the longevity of them and, and how they operate yeah yeah um, there's a lot of different a lot of different ways you can kind of spin off and go with, with the solar I think the way you put that um, really is sort of an educational thing when we find out how townships fashion ordinances uh, and go about the various actions that township supervisors have to do. Um, you, you can't just jump right at it uh, and, and just, okay, somebody has a need or somebody has a concern, let's write up an ordinance right away. You have to really research and, and explore every angle 
Uh, noise process. ordinance is the same way. Mm -hmm. um, uh, solar ordinances, we, we've heard about those sorts of things. Um, when, you're, when you're doing an ordinance, and you're putting in a new rule for folks, uh, there are different ramifications that have to be considered. You have to consider them all. Yeah, well, Lake Township's a large, it's a, you know, it's a large municipality, and it's it's very, you know, diverse from one end to the other with the, you know, the urban and the rural and roads and the communities, the neighborhoods, businesses. So it's uh, it's 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 hard to get a one size fits all. But um, like you said, it takes time, yeah. research. You mentioned the recreation complex a, a while back. There's some grant work going on there. You talked about uh, the the extra work that was done with the with the road crews out there. You know, you're talking about complex things and, uh, and and all of the different things that have to be done to keep something working, working well, and and looking good too. That's yeah. important. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, the, the that parking lot has not been paved since I've been around as a township, and I've been around a, quite a while now. So yeah. it, it's nice to see a, a little bit of a facelift out there for it, and um, and it's all you know, it's all grant funded, so which which makes it great. And, so the um, that's the outside work, and we're still hoping for some good news here coming up on, on the inside work and some of the some of the HVAC and the remodeling grant that we're supposed to hear word in uh, sometime July here. Takes a lot of time, takes a lot of effort, and, and then unfortunately it takes a lot of money too. It does. <laughs> and, and, and that can be something that'll that'll slow you down too. Well, but a lot going on within Lake Township. Chris, thanks so much for the visit. We appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it, Tom. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com. Fox News coming up at the top of the hour. Let me check and see if this isn't for you here, Chris. That, that Chauncey, Chauncey says, nice job, Chris. <laughs> it's Indiana in the morning. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 